Hello everyone, thank you all for tuning in and thank you all for watching this video from the beginning to the end. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a very different, a very delicious, delectable, scrumptious, enticing, appealing, tantalizing jollof rice method, jollof rice recipe. This jollof rice is just different from all the ones I've been preparing. And I'm going to tell you why. The taste, the smoky flavor, unspeakable. So right here, we have some goat meat that I'm going to be using. This is actually the game changer in this jollof. So to that goat meat, I just added some rosemary. I, I'm adding some salt, as you can see. No cubes. that to a boil i'm going to be cooking the goat meat till it's done and i'm going to be adding some water to it because i need the water from the goat meat to be able to transform this jollof rice from ordinary to extraordinary over here i have some bell peppers two large onions scotch bonnet pepper so I'm going to still blend all this together. I have curry powder, some bouillon cubes, and some salt and some turmeric. Also, we're using tomatoes, as you can see. And some oil that I took out from my stew from the previous day. We have rice, of course, number one ingredient. So right now the goat meat that we're cooking is already done and the water i'm going to separate the meat and grill it and save the water for later so now the cooking process has started this is the oil from my stew from the previous day i'm just adding it into a pot right now and our rice is already washed I'm going to pour that rice into the oil. And I'm going to be toasting this rice in this oil for, for about 10 to 15 minutes on medium low heat. And make sure you continue to stir it so it doesn't get burnt. So as you can see, our rice is already toasted. It's been toasting now for 15 minutes on medium-low heat. I'm going to remove it from the pot and put it in a container and set it aside for later while I make the sauce for the rice. So as you can see, I already put some of that oil that I got out from my stew and some onions into the pot. I'm going to let this sizzle for a bit. So it's time to add our bouillon. Uh, curry powder, salt, and a little bit of turmeric. So at this point, all my bell peppers, my tomatoes, all the onions are already blended. I'm adding it into uh, oil. So I'm going to fry this stew for as long as 10 to 15 minutes on medium low heat. So 
and we're gonna be leaving this to really really cook for 10 to 15 minutes on the medium low heat at this point our stew or sauce is ready the rice has to come in at this point this is our toasted rice I'm going to mix this with the sauce make sure everything just incorporates and mix together meanwhile our already cooked goat meat is grilling in the oven at this point so I believe that someone who hasn't cooked jollof rice before this would be a very easy tutorial for you to learn and even if you have cooked before this is a different one so at this point I'm going to add the broth from the goat meat this is the water from the goat meat I just added with the onions everything I just poured everything into the jollof rice and I'm going to be mixing that for about five minutes as it's toasting and steaming gradually like I said I have been cooking jollof rice all this while but I've never tried goat meat um, goat meat stock jollof rice so when I tried this oh my I was like I have been missing a lot and I believe guys just if you want a different taste for your jollof just try using goat meat water from goat meat and you'll be glad you did so after stirring this I'm going to cover it up for about 20 minutes to steam rice actually needs steam I did not add water I just allow it to steam and now I'm going to check it after 20 minutes of which I'm going to stir it and still cover it again back for another five minutes to make sure it's completely ready So at this point, I want to say thank you all to all, everyone who used to watch my videos from start to finish. I really appreciate you all. I appreciate all of you. Feel free to share my videos amongst your friends, your families, and your loved ones. I will really appreciate that as well. Thank you. And this is the end result. I just decided to add some steamed vegetables like some peas and carrots for some little bit of garnish and look at all the good meat on top of the rice now it's time for our taste test this is the part i love the taste unbeatable taste thank you so much i enjoyed this and i know you will enjoy it if you try it follow these steps and you will not miss it god bless you and bye